Welcome stakeholders to the weekend update for the week ending Friday, July 22nd, 2022. It's been a giant week for Arkhamoto. We've got the world in our town. Uh, and just a quick reminder, if you wanna stay up to date with us, make sure you subscribe and you can sign up for email updates at our stakeholder update page, arkhamoto.com slash IR. I'm gonna save some of the corporate structure stuff I alluded to last week for a future update in favor of some hot off the press is goodness. Uh, first, uh, we're gonna check in with one of our early customers to hear uh, his perspective on the Arkhamoto experience. Then I'm gonna go over to Nico Panacho, our stakeholder relations specialist, who is gonna be interviewing Chad Bordro, our new chief of supply chain, and Ray Nichols, our chief of business support. I wanna just add uh, just how thrilled I am to have these two join our executive team. Uh, we have brought on some amazing executives from outside the company, uh, but these guys have grown with us through some real challenging times, and I was thankful they were willing to jump on camera for the first time for this update. Uh, and then finally, I'm gonna close out with an event that we actually held earlier today for key team members and some of our local stakeholders to show off some really cool new stuff coming your way soon. Uh, High Step Society kicked us off, so let's jump into it. Just the fun, seriously. My name is Christian Olson. I have been in the education field for most of my career. I look forward to going to work in my FUV. It is one of the most fun things I've ever ridden in my life. So, and I, I used to have a lot of motorcycles, that sort of thing. I feel more stable in the FUV. I really do. I have two daughters. I have a 12 year old. She always wants to go through Starbucks on the Arkhamoto just because she wants to show off. It's fun family time with, with her. I feel safer in the FUV. I think that's the big difference, but it, yet it gives me the freedom that the motorcycle had too. So it's, it's, the, it's a combination of feeling a little safer, yet still have and the open road. When I'm driving around, I notice cars notice me. I don't have to worry about you know somebody changing lanes with, without seeing the motorcycle. It's instant power. You just take off from wherever you're at and you've got energy to spare. This is a special vehicle and it's different than anything else I have driven. And it makes it fun to drive, a super enjoyable experience. All right, guys, here we are next to Chad Bordrow, the uh, Chief Supply Chain Officer here at Arkhamoto. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I've been with Arkhamoto for three years now. Started off as their materials manager, promoted to the Director of Materials, and recently promoted to Chief Supply Chain Officer. I control four different departments, procurement, AKA purchasing, our sourcing division, our inventory control, and our movement of materials throughout the different facilities. Oh, okay, so um, so you've been dealing with some of the supply chain issues lately. Very much so. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, obviously, you know, not, you know, telling me anything new, uh, COVID, you know, hit hard, you know, and it was a trickle down effect across all aspects, whether it was ports, pro port problems, um, transportation problems, V, air, sea, land, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So we're getting, getting through most of those, it's getting better. Um, but they're still keeping the long lead times. What we used to know as eight to 12 to 14 weeks is now 24, 32, even some components, especially our semiconductors and uh, chipsets are 52 plus. I mean, that's worldwide. Yep. Yep. You yeah. know, that affects uh, us to, you know, Ford Motor Company or whoever, you know, mm -hmm. we're all in the same piece fighting for the same parts. Yeah. Securing volume pricing will be very, very large for the rest of this year and definitely into next year will help out a lot. <laughs> uh, thank you for giving you. our stakeholders a little update. Here I am with Ray Nichols, the Chief Business Support Officer here at Arkhamoto. Great to be with you. Hey Nico, nice to meet you. I've come up through the company over a course of about five years, uh, worked my way up to Director of Logistics and then just recently was put into the officer positions. And our major focuses are still logistics and getting the vehicles out to all of our customers and moving things across the nation, across the world, as well as facilities and how that is supporting all of our people and all of our customers. And the new piece that we're really focusing on is business affairs and expanding the global footprint for our Komodo. Do you want to give the audience a bit of perspective on how we've innovated in the new location of rentals in Hawaii? 
Hawaii was the first place that we had gone into where we had no association. And we just went into the market and said, this is where we need to be. We want to open up rentals. We want to open up sales. So the approach that we've taken is a bit different and a little more traditional, but uh, getting all of our ducks in a row, so to speak, making sure that the location that we're picking is going to be most beneficial to the company for a dollar ratio. Working with Lynn and Jim and the rest of the CX team and the rentals team, they're taking the things that we have learned in San Diego and the other locations, applying what we've learned there to how we are going to do rentals in a new area is really exciting. And Hawaii would really be the perfect environment for the fun utility vehicle. Um, Absolutely. And in multiple ways that weren't readily apparent when we moved into the market, you get a real vibe of what the area is. You get the beautiful scenery. But it's more than that because Hawaii itself is so tailor-made for these vehicles. The curves in the road, the low speeds that they have along the highways and within the road structure gives us a really long-lasting battery for that environment. So we're maximizing every electron as we move around the island. So on a ending note, um, what is something or multiple things that you might be excited about here at Arkimoto going forward? Now having that voice in there and being able to take part in the strategies we start moving into globalization. Really looking forward to what Arkimoto is going to do in the future and in the near future. Um, well, thank you, Ray, and congrats on the new position. Thank you. Cybertrike coming in hot. Please, uh, please join me in a round of applause for the Mean Lean Machine team. They have been absolutely crushing it. Um, and this is, a, this is, again, is an e-bike class vehicle like no other. Uh, it's, uh, there's no chain, there's no belt. You're actually pedaling a generator. Um, this is just gonna be a beast for touring. It's gonna be a beast for delivery, for getting around town. Uh, major improvements in the suspension. It's got the first uh, packaging study of the Micro Future Drive. That's the box in the middle that says Cybertrike on it. Um, so again, the, the, and this is also has our first instance of carbon fiber wheels. Uh, so lighter weight wheels, uh, really sweet ride. Of course, I get, that's a forward looking statement. I've only taken it around the parking lot as you just saw. Um, but uh, this is the one, this is the first one that we're building multiples of. Uh, and this is the one that we're going to be both doing on-road marketing with, uh, as well as a whole lot of testing to verify the robustness of the design. And we think it will have the potential to really open up the bicycle class to a much wider audience. And if you were, if you were at Ramp It Up, you saw us talk about sort of the reason why the Mean Lean Machine. And it's because the things that we drive around today typically are, you know, four to 5,000 pound vehicles. Uh, made of highly extracted, refined materials. We made a huge leap forward with the fun utility vehicle class. Uh, a vehicle dropped that by into a third. Um, but the Mean Lean machine is going to be about 1 50th of the embodied energy materials, highly extracted materials of a regular car. Uh, 1 100th one of uh, GM's new Hummer. So, you know, just to set a baseline that we're going for. So I see Nicholas over there, by the way, Nicholas, huge props. Uh, anyway, this is a, this is a, a project of, uh, of a lot of passion from some of the most brilliant designers, engineers I've ever worked with, uh, and just uh, incredibly excited uh, at this major step forward as we push to get uh, the first uh, instances in market before the end of this year. We have one more, uh, one more thing that we're going to be showcasing. This is the first time the beta torque vectoring software has been installed on a consumer vehicle, that being mine. Uh, so this will be my first chance to really test out torque vectoring. And again, torque vectoring for all of the current Arkimoto owners, this will be a software upgrade that will make the vehicle much easier to steer at low speed. It will also improve traction. It will improve acceleration. 
um, and it's going to be something that we plan to roll out to customers before the end of the year. Forward-looking statement, there's a lot of testing we still have to do to make sure that that is right. Uh, we will, later on this year, have a beta program uh, for, for some, uh, some hardcore Arcanauts who want to be first in line. Okay, we got to sign up. we got two more sign-ups. So, again, uh, to the uh, MLM team, I salute you. Thank you for all of your hard work uh, on behalf of Arkimoto and on behalf of the planet. You guys rock. And again, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for your support. It is, uh, this is a, a giant team effort. And I, I, I don't want to just highlight the MLM team. The entire Arkimoto team right now is just kicking ass and taking names. And it is a, my sincere honor to work alongside you all. So thank you for being here. Uh, enjoy the day. You rock. All right. That's all I got. <laughs>